This is one of the most craziest chapter summaries I have read so far in One Piece in this year. Like bro, I know like there are only three to four chapters which have came in this year, but they straight up just revealed the name of one of the Gorosi members. The fandom waited for like twenty years or something, and now it, it's finally the time we are getting into this stuff. So before I move on to that part of the story, let's just start with let's just take a look over all the things which happened before that. So the chapter's name is Miss Buckingham Stussy. You get the idea. We are gonna get some emphasis about who Stussy is actually. So then in the cover story, we can see Vegapunk creating peaceful inventions like tank that shoots out flowers, while Caesar, Judge, and Queen look at him like in disgust, stating the fact that. Vegapunk is more on the protagonist side because he lo- he because he likes to make such cute inventions while these guys are just making bombs and stuff. <laughs> yeah, moving on. The chapter starts where like the last one ended. Luchi attacks Sus- Stussy, but he misses because he is attacking an illusion. Stussy uses the variation of Kami E paper art technique called the remaining body or something like that. In in Japanese, while she distracts Luchi from the illusion, Stussy uses the lipstick with Karyoseki inside to weaken Luchi. Oh, so as, like she uses it to touch Luchi, Luchi like Smoker uses his teeth. Uh, so I can understand. She's using sea prism stone inside a lipstick or something so that she can weaken Luchi because he's a devil fruit user. Oh, so th- that makes sense. I didn't understand these words, but yeah, now that it makes sense. Then Stussy bites Luchi, and he falls asleep like Kaku. So yeah, she succeeded finally. And like man, she she literally took down Luchi, bro. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that was a hard task. But yeah, as you guys might know that from the previous chapter, that Stussy is the clone of Bakin, like Buckingham Stussy, which is. Basically, Bakin in like the present time, who is Vivil's mom, and we are getting some emphasis on that as well. Of course, it's if she is the clone of ba- Buckingham Stussy, she's got to be powerful, bro. So it make it makes sense how she took down Luchi and Kaku in very in a very secretive way that both were caught off guard. We discover that mysterious person with whom Vegapunk spoke was Stussy. So yeah, confirmation finally. Okay, it was Stussy. I mean, I got the idea in the previous chapter itself when I read that, and I like I was like, yeah, man, it it was Stussy to whom Vegapunk called in 1070, and that it wasn't Vegapunk's intention that become that she becomes a CP0 member. Stussy can't overwrite Luchi's order to stop to stop the Seraphim because she's at the same level than Luchi in the authority hierarchy. So yeah, the Seraphim are attacking the Straw Hats, like the the ship itself. So she can't stop it because of some reason. Because she is at the same level than Luchi in the authority hierarchy. Like bro, I can't understand this thing. <laughs> If she is on the same level, why can't she stop it? Yeah, it, it might be my fault, bro. I'm just reading it in a very fast and rapid way. So, anyways, just moving on. Lilith and Edison came out of the labo. S Hawk. attacks Lilith before she can give the order to stop but Zoro stops it oh man bro this so <laughs> Zoro is fighting against S Hawk during some panels no new attacks only one big clash S Hawk is in shock facing Zoro's strength that's crazy and finally the wish of the fandom is completed S Hawk finally meets Zoro and now now he can finally see that Mi Hawk has a small clone of himself Sha- S Shark attacks Edison and he is giving the order to stop but Sanji saves him then Edison manages to give the order and all the Sel- Seraphim stop. So yeah, like continuing from the last chapter Sanji is here and Edison finally gives an order and stops all the Seraphim. So yeah, it's a win win. Luffy and Chopper are running around the lab or trying to find out the real Vegapunk because he and Bonnie disappeared. We don't see anything about real Vegapunk and Bonnie in this chapter. So yeah, no Kuma lore, okay? It's still like a few chapters left before we can continue on that Kuma situation. It's really close. We are gonna get some Kuma backstory and some lore about it, like who Kuma is and why he was turned into a pacifista and something. Cut to Spinks Island. So if you don't know what Spinks Island, it's Whitebeard's town. It's Whitebeard's village where Marco used to live. 
and he still lives there he still lives there okay it's revealed that the marines have came to sphinx island while marco was away in vano but we will arrived and protected the village however we will was captured by green bull in this whole situation of stussy and bakin i was expecting something about we will and we finally have it bro he saved the whole village and got and became a bait i mean like these guys were trying to capture the seven warlords of course so he was under the target of marines by default but yeah that's good that he protected sphinx island and and that that actually gives the evidence that gives more proof that he is the real son of white beard and that would be way crazier <laughs> bro i'm going nuts if he is the real son <laughs> Now Marco is with Miss Bakin. She asked Marco to bring back her son and give her Shirohige's inheritance. Marco, I appreciate you saving the village, but Miss Bakin, you doubt about my son's lineage? Then just ask Vegapunk. After after this whole clone thing, I'm I'm speculating that he is a clone of White Beard. <laughs> Everyone's becoming a clone slowly. I I was like, bro, these are some random characters. you are like they have no, nothing to do with the plot and now now here it is oda just involved as much people he can in this whole vega punk train that was interesting and yeah i, I really, really look forward to what's happening with we will and also i'm um, also this green bull situation this i think so this my personal opinion smart of friend some people but I think so this might have been a good op- opportunity to showcase who Green Bull was rather than showcasing it in the end of Wano. Green Bull arrived at Wano and just got bootlegged by Shanks. When Shanks wasn't even there. Bro, he was far away. He was like kilometers away from Green Bull. Kizaru brings some snacks and drinks to an old man in the ship. Before that, Marines test the food to find if it's poisoned. Kizaru talks with that man. Kizaru, have you ever met Vegapunk? old man yes just once in the past we discovered that the old man is one member of the gorosei especially he is the one with the scar on the left side of his face and the gray dead locks and we discover his name world highest authority gorosei saint jigrasia saturn i don't know if i spelled that properly saturn i regret that it has come to this end of chapter break there's no break next week i was like kizaru is going to come i can understand and admiral is going to come and this and that and i can I, understandable in the situation after he, he has become a yonko but you just throw in a whole damn member of goro say in the situation and that 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 completely caught me off guard this morning when i was reading this chapter summary like bro and he's the he's the dreadlock guy if you if you understand yeah the guy with the scar on his left left eye above his left eye or something he's in the thumbnail bro and his name is saturn which actually proved the theory which the fandom had for a long time that the gorosei members are named after planets and emu is like named after earth and he has either the earth earth fruit or the cc fruit This is just food for thought man. Also the fact that he's on a ship with Kizaru it's it's damn obvious he's on Egghead. Bro he's be- behind Vegapunk. He's going to chase them to god knows till where. Like I I like how the Gorosei members are named after planets and Emu is trying to assemble the whole solar system by getting hands on the rest of the three which are like like which is like Poseidon which is like equivalent to Neptune. Pluton and then finally Uranus. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> But yeah, this was this was a fire chapter, bro. Not gonna lie, I like this chapter a lot. And also, there's no break next week. Like CP zero is done, and these guys like now we have just two things left, which is like the Kuma backstory, and then they just like escape from that place and get attacked by Kizaru and the the world government guy Saturn. So yeah. So yeah, this was cool. I like this chapter. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll meet you next time in the next chapter summary.